started from the bottom, and now I'm here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know that was cheesy. Okay guys, now that my hair is shampooed, I'm going to, with the shampoo in it, I'm going to finger detangle it, so I'm going to section it just with my fingers into two, and I'm just going to quickly finger detangle it, I'm not going to spend too long on this. I'm just going to section my hair, finger the, as I said to you before, if you've watched my video doing my kids' hair, before I actually start going in the finger detangling, I actually separate my hair as much as possible. Um, so I just think it's, it prevents any unwanted or unnecessary um, rips and yanks from the hair. Okay, now I feel that it's, oh, there's a bit of seed, so I'm talking about this little clump here that's really just bubbling there. <laughs> size detangled enough so I'll just go ahead and do the front and I'm going to stay there where I continue I'll just fast forward this bit for you guys <laughs> it's my hair fully washed with no product in it Okay, and what I'm going to go and do is put in my leave-in conditioner, which is Shea Solution. So, as I said, guys, you get this from the Dollar Tree. Well, I've, I don't know if it's their own product because, obviously, I don't live in the States, but this is where I found it. So, this is um, Shea Solutions with organic shea butter, deep conditioner. Oh, it's co-wash as well. Hmm, didn't know. <laughs> well, okay, well, that's something I've just learned with you guys. So it shows you that how I really read the products, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to add this deep conditioner in my hair. Mm, by the way, oh, I want to tell you more about this product, guys, but as I said, I'm going to be doing a product review, so just know it smells really nice. I'm just annoyed that I didn't get more. I don't know what a dollar, guys. Dollar. I don't know why I didn't get more. Uh. Okay, so I'm just going to... As I said, started from the bottom, and now I'm here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know that was cheesy. <laughs> from detangling with the shampoo, this is the amount of hair that I lost. So not much at all. Woo! There you go. When it gets to winter times and the weather gets colder, I don't usually, I'm not really a great fan of protective styles unless it's my usual um, high bun. So what I tend to do is usually leave my hair out a bit more, which means that my hair is more susceptible to have um, damage from the elements. So this is why I'm giving it an extra layer. Okay, I'm just going around back and show you. 
It's all coated nice and shiny. Okay, so now guys, for if this was like summertime, I would have just left it as that. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to apply this um, Aunt Jackie's Girls Fabulous Curls and Quirls. It's an e blast. And basically, it's an oil that I bought for my kids' hair, and it's amazing. So, I'm going to use this as just added protection. Um, and it says vitamin E and flaxseed nourishing scalp remedy. So, I'm gonna, I'm not necessarily going to spray it directly onto my scalp, I'm going to spray it onto my hand. Okay, let me use this towel. Okay, so I'm going to spray it onto my hand. I don't know if you can see that, guys. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just rub that all over my hair for added moisture and this smells, this reminds me of um, uh, is it African Pride? I think African Pride hair grease by the smell and the texture is um, it's quite thick actually I think it's not like your almond oil, it's not runny it's, um, it's got a bit of thickness to it so I'm going to spray just a little bit more I'm telling you my kids are in love with me, I can hear them on the stairs <laughs> Just don't leave me alone. For this part now, I'm going to deep condition for, I'd say maybe about half an hour. I'm going to use these caps that I got from, these shower caps that I got from Walmart, and they were literally 98 cents. 98 cents for 15 plastic caps. And then on top of that, guys, because I'm not using heat, I'm just going to wrap this towel around my head and use that as my, my heat. <laughs> okay. So the heat from my head, obviously, as you know how it goes, guys, the heat from your head will usually warm up the um, deep conditioner and let that penetrate into the strands. And as I said, guys, this is not the tightest. I'm gonna um, leave that on for half an hour. Okay. And I will be back and I will show you how to apply the styler, which I'll be using and it will be for added moisture. I will be using um, the flaxseed because it has the oil in it, I'll be using this. I do prefer when I do um, my wash and goes, oh gosh, when I do my wash and goes for my hair to have a bit of crunch because I know it's got a really good hold and then obviously I'll crunch the cast out. I don't find that with this um, flaxseed um, um, castor oil eco styler because it has got the oil in it so it, it kind of dries, to me it kind of dries um, very very soft but I'm going to be using it today because it does give you added moisture so stay tuned and I'll show you stage three. <laughs> okay guys. Okay guys, so deep condition has been washed out and this is my hair with absolutely no product whatsoever. Can you see that? Okay, it's got, uh, it feels super moisturised, it's got a lot of elasticity, it feels thick and that is great. Yep, definitely moisturised. Okay, for, so for one dollar guys, if you are in the States, or anyway, they have a Dollar Tree, I would recommend that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my styling now. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I've done a video about this, the um, Cream of Nature Butterlicious Curls, and this is what I'm gonna be using today. Um, it doesn't actually say it's leave-in, but it does say, you know, to rehydrate the hair and all of that. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna use a liberal amount. The reason why I'm using this as a leave-in today is because I usually use my Cantu leave-in but um, no offense to Cantu, I love them and everything but I, me personally, I don't find that it's as moisturizing as this Buttalicious Curls but this is the one that I found has amazing moisture some might find it too greasy but I actually like that feel not greasy but I like the feeling that my hair is super moisturized and I don't mind if it weighs my hair down to be honest, that's what I'm kind of looking for a product that lays, weighs and lays weighs my hair down okay guys so I've just rubbed that all into my hair and this is what it looks like so you can see it's shiny moisturized and now I'm going to subsection as I said and 
I'm going to apply the gel. So this is nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary guys. But all I'm doing is adding extra moisture for my winter wash and go, that's all. And using extra moisturizing products. So as I said, I'm gonna use this big fat tub of gel. And this was £9.99 in an Afro-Caribbean hair shop. I don't know if you can get it cheaper. I don't know. I'm sure they might sell it on Amazon. That's an oxymoron. Sure they might, doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure that they have this on Amazon. So if you can't find it in your local uh, hair supply stores, uh, I would advise to try Amazon. Right, so guys, what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting it on the roots and work it down. And just smooth it into the hair. Okay, and I'm going to be very, very liberal with this. Because I want, I prefer to work on my hair when it's super wet. So my hair, I can start, to, oh, I can feel it start to dry already. But I want my hair to be super wet. So anyway, guys, with that section, I'm now going to subsection that subsection. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start shingling it. So my roots are laid. You can see that. And I'm just going to go ahead and start shingling where I feel my hair wants to separate. Now guys, this is very time consuming, but the reason why I've gone back to shingling for the winter is because I've got certain parts in my hair that takes forever to dry. So clumping would definitely not be um, feasible right now. Okay, so when I section it like this, it gets, and the strands are individual from the roots, it gets the air to flow through my hair a lot easier. And when that happens, it dries quicker. Okay guys, oh. so that's once that's shingled. So once, because my hair's, um, I don't know, my hair's usually tighter at the roots and then it starts to <laughs> do its own thing. But what I'm trying to do, I'm just shaking it, just shaking it to get the curl curls. And if it's not clump, I mean, uh, if it's not curly enough for you, you can just scrunch it. But uh, I know once my hair dries, it gets very curly, so I'm not too fussed about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the section. I'll do that again. So I'll turn this way. See what I'm doing. So I'm gonna section it. Smooth it down. I don't like to do this in the morning unless I'm not going out for the day. I don't like, especially obviously as common sense, the weather's cold and I don't want to go out of wet hair. I said I'm gonna keep shingling, smoothing and then shingling. I find that smoothing gets all the strands to lay down in one direction and gives you a more polished look once the hair is completely dried. The reason why I'm wringing them around my fingers guys is so I can get uh, slightly bigger ringlets. So I'm slightly altering the curl pattern. Okay. And this is what I've got so far.
Okay guys, so that's one side of my hair done. It's fully shingled. I coated it again with an extra coating of gel um, just to give it a bit of crunch because I said this one's got the oil in it that are flaxseed and black castor oil. So it tends to make my hair more soft and does it actually give that super crunchy hold that I like. So shingling does take long, but to be honest guys, I find it's worthwhile because it gives me a longer um, wash and go. I usually wash my hair every three to four days because that's when I find my, my scalp starts to get a bit itchy, so I just, you know, follow what my hair and my scalp needs. But with this, I can stretch my wash and go to about six to seven days. Is doing its own thing because the strands are individually separated and I'm not going to run my fingers through it too much because I want it to dry without frizzing. Um, I've done a side parting which I don't usually do but hey I'm gonna you know roll with it. <laughs> so this is how the whole head looks guys. welcome back and these are the results uh, my hair is super soft and this is day two hair the first day I had slight cast but not too much but I had a lot of shrinkage so what I done last night is I literally just slept with it in a ooh, top bun like so I pulled it as far as possible to the front of my head and I've done it as tightly as possible like this got my hair tie and what I done oh gosh I know I said I wasn't doing um, pineapples anymore in a video I done way back when, but basically times change guys and you just gotta go with what works for you. Right now for the length of my hair, this is what works. Okay, so I've done something like this, nothing too exciting. And if you think this looks crazy, I also had this on, my pink body that I've shown you before I think. And I got this from Target, I think it was like $5. Yeah, and this is what I looked like last night, and my husband just uh, looked at me. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter because it's all a part of the process, and it's for me to look glam the next morning. And so as I said, stay to here. What I've done this morning was shake it out. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!